traditional wing, okay? And we want this guy, you know, this is, this is another important thing. We want this ball, we want this catch to be top of the key extended, but not so far out here. The farther I get out here, the less chance I have of refusing it. So we want it top of the key extended, right off the three-point line. So this is the ideal place to catch right here. Okay, that's the first spot, obviously, on both wings that can happen. Second one is a step-up screen. You see more and more of these. The post comes running out, and he sets a baseline screen right here for him. All right, and we'll get into this a little bit more. Most of the time, we want his crack to the rim. That's where we want the ball. Just like, you know, you're taught the, the old motion screens, your back or your crack is where you want the receiver. Same thing in this situation. So we want this angle just a little bit. So when he comes off it here, he's got an angle to get to the rim. All right, that's the second spot. Third spot is up on top here with just a simple flat screen. Ball handler's coming at it, and we're right here, and he may adjust it one way or another based on how the defense is guarding it. Okay, third spot, take it to the wing, is right off the lane line, and again, we don't want it that much, as we want his crack to the rim, or at worst, to that corner. Okay, so these are the different areas. All right, basically four, starting with your basic here, your step up here, you're flat, and then the same thing on the other side of the floor. Okay, and again, you can adjust that to, to your personnel and how, uh, how they're going to benefit from, from your placing of it. Okay? Flat screen, uh, this is a really good one in transition. If you think about it, they're running, and if you've got a big that's ahead of the floor, and he's sprinting, 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 and all of a sudden he turns around and nails this guy, Really, really hard to guard in transition.